Hey guys, it's Math. Welcome back to more Super Smash Bros. 4. Last episode, we had a slow but successful run of 9.0 with Pikachu. And this episode, we're not doing a 9.0 run, just 8.0. In fact, it's actually on, off, on, off for this week. But we're going to be playing as Charizard, who has a bit of a development history. So obviously, in this game, they couldn't get transforming characters to work. This is well known at this point. And they had split up some characters. That's why Zelda and Sheik are now separate. Samus and Zero Suit Samus are separate. But for the Pokemon, instead of bringing them all back, they just brought back Charizard. Probably because of Charizard's popularity and they just didn't want a shit ton of Pokemon characters taking up space. But it is unfortunate that my Snivy, bleh, my Snivy boy, my Squirtle boy isn't here. That's a, I just kind of prefer Squirtle out of the three. <laughs> I would take it. Blah. Yeah. Give me that. I'm rambling now. Give me that. Pit. That's your fault for not dropping it. Well, Cloud's asleep, and Gandorf is not going to capitalize on it, despite the fact that he's the only person that can capitalize on that. Oh, I forgot I had Seismic Toss. Did I pick it up? No. No, I did not. Uh, so because Charizard is no longer part of a trio, that means he, he actually has a full set of four moves. Well, he still has Rock Throw. Uh, his side B used to be a Rock Smash, as you can see here. But now his side B is something new, which is Flare Blitz. I missed. I missed and got punished for it. And that's what happens when anybody uses Flare Blitz in this game. Flare Blitz is so punishable. Because that recoil... You're forced into helpless. You you just have to lie pr prone on the ground. That's just how it goes for anybody, and it's easily shieldable too. You also take 10% damage for it. The moves basically useless, like actually. They buffed it some in ultimate, but in this game, you can use it for recovery for a character who already has three jumps. You can use it as a decent mix-up, like this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on here? Damn! Let's go, Charizard! Just hit him all right then and there. Only two left now. Ow. Didi, I'm gonna need you to stop that. Okay. Maybe I can get use of Flare Blitz in this particular mode. Oh shit. Oh shit. I do have super armor with it, but I have to be careful because I also can't stop myself. I might cheese the shit out of this one today, folks. Because it's actually kind of fun. Uh, alright, fair and balanced stage. No walk-off either, so... I'm not gonna get away with immediately killing everybody. Damn it. Oh, this is the game that started you having an arrow on top of the lead Pikmin. I honestly didn't know that until I watched a video about it in Smash Ultimate for, uh, Olimar. I just never noticed it, because it's so hard to see. That's how I feel about a lot of the arrows in Smash Ultimate, honestly. Like, on Pikachu, they now have arrows showing, like, the direction you're aiming for, like, quick for quick attack. Uh, where you're going for, like, Fire Fox and Fire Falco. But it's so fucking tiny and doesn't show up until the very last minute. So it's kind of useless, honestly. Does not help anyone. Here, explode. Ow. Captain Falcon's finally using his gun, oh no. I'm gonna have to put him down. Get! <laughs> yeah, just like that. Oh. Fuck. You know what? Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> Almar was ready for it. There we go. Yeah, Almar out of here. Well, I'll take a Pokeball. Okay, Snivy boy. <laughs> Just hold him in place. I kind of wish Charizard could crawl. Imagine how menacing that would look. It'd also just be funny. Alright, that's the first three rounds done. Nice and easy. Uh, two over there, two over there. Uh, I'll just take these two. I can take care of Dr. Mario easy. As long as he doesn't have that stupid custom again. That one that killed me at like 5% or whatever. I'm still mad about that. I don't know what happened. 
Uh, rock smash. I need to stop using rock smash. I'm like, I'm gonna make sure that I don't just spam one move, and that I remember that for Charizard, uh, most of his moves are useless. Namely, rock smash. Like that. His hitbox is shit. Also, I'm getting my ass kicked. Give me this one. Which one is which? No one knows! Alright. Well, now I know. Ooh! Dr. Mario almost got me with that reflect. Damn it. See, here, here's a time where you can use it as a recovery. Damn it. <laughs> he had the perfect hero. Alright, I'll stop playing around. I need to kill these guys fast. Stop that. Oh wait, I have a good dodge dodge too. Kek! Oh, he has jet boots on. Interesting. One that goes diagonal, huh? For that side B? That's pretty interesting. There we go. Charger's Forest Badge is really powerful, but it has a dead zone on, like, his neck. Ooh, new move! Rising Cyclone. I think that's an up B. Interesting, interesting. Alright. So we got another shot at another custom here. Team battle, huh? No one's really stood out to me, honestly. I'll take Dr. Mario. Maybe he has that custom for his down B. I don't think he ever used it. Damn it. Hard read. Kek. Hard read. <laughs> you did good, Dr. Mario. You did good. It really helped out. It, it was a team effort. <laughs> oh, God. Remember last episode where I was like, you know how classic mode's kind of bullshit because it's all based on not back, not really combos or damage? I didn't say you couldn't make use of it yourself. I just said it was bullshit. Also, I might not actually want to use, uh, side beat. <laughs> actually, yeah, dash attack should work just fine. The AI blew something up again, didn't it? Every time. Every time with a stupid AI. Okay, all you out here. I'm gonna take this bomb before any of you can just attack it and blow it up yourselves. Wait, there's only two left. Yeet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that to Master Shadow, right? It's gonna be great. Alright. No, despite that, we still made it here in, like, the standard amount of time, which is, like, 9 to 10 minutes. Kinda sad. Alright, you two, get in here. It's time to thrash, except Charizard doesn't know thrash. Actually, I think one of his moves is called Dragon Rage. Move. Ow. Alright. Oh. I did not have my jump. There we go. Alright, only 12- only 12%. Nope, no hitbox this time. I'm gonna go for the immediate stomp. I missed. Luckily, Charizard's aerials are all pretty damn powerful. If you could hit him. There we go. Just grab the edge of the stage for that. Especially the sweet spot on his tail. Uh oh. It's always that second one. I always dodge that one too soon. There we go. Yeah, look at the difference that has on 8.0 versus 9.0. There we go. This should be the last hit. That time I called it. I actually tried crawling as Charizard. God fucking damn it. Now you don't have to be careful of because Charizard is, uh, slow as shit. Luckily, so are you. Gonna do literally anything? Okay, then. Dude, the difference between 8.0 and 9.0 is literally night and day. I had such trouble with Pikachu 
Charizard's going like piss easy right now. I say as I get hit by that anyways, because Charizard's giant ass hitbox. Shield it. Oh that wow, that didn't actually kill it. Rock smash. Yeah, there we go. Come here, Master Shadow. Yeet. Going for a ride. Okay, stomp it. Damn it. Oh shit. Get out of here. How the hell did he read that? That's maddening. Alright, you know what? He ain't ready for it. He was ready for it. We both went for a down smash at the same time. Maybe I have the exact same amount of, like, IQ as this guy. He wasn't ready for it a third time, though. There we go. <laughs> I might be taking the heart. 199 damage? Might might be heart territory. There go. We. Oui. Get everyone out of here. There we go. Charizard's new up air is so much better than the one he had in Brawl. Y'all remember that one where he just like tried to quote unquote bite at you? By just like kind of raising his head up? So bad. Had zero of a hitbox. Come on. Come on, Charizard, you big lug. <laughs> I just love the way that they bounce. I find it hilarious. Just get hit, just hit down. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Just take the damage. Because I've learned. My problem is I panic. But as long as I don't panic, things will go fine. Just pay attention to the amount of damage I have, and that's how much I should panic. And I'm only at 26%, so I should only panic about 26% of the time. Keck. Why would I do that? I've learned nothing. I've learned literally nothing from Kirby. I've learned nothing from Mennonite. Every single time, my first thought is, hee hee, funny up throw. And I get fucking punished for it like a dumbass. I mean, it works. I can't get back up there. There we go. Okay, down we go. And I can do it here. Oh wow, that did not bring us where I thought. Okay, fine, you can enjoy that. Platform! Charizard's fly is a bit of a weird move. There we go. I should have seen that coming. I did not. I didn't think I would end up having that much drift. Okay. Charizard, I know you're giant. I know you have a giant hitbox. I'm gonna need you to uh, not have one for like five minutes. All right, it's attacked. You can get out of here. Where did the other one go? The Stoffel's just... is gone. Okay then. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay. Platforms, raise me up. There we go. See, I was gonna do a funny and be like, yeah, I'm gonna, like, fucking flare blitz it. I didn't realize I already done that much damage. I was actually thinking of doing it anyways. Well, shit. Uh, and this is what we call getting cocky. <laughs> Charizard's fucking forward tilt so stupid. Nyeh. 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 I should probably kill it. <laughs> there we go. I could have killed Master Core with side B. God fucking damn it. And no new moves. Oh wait, no, we did get a new move. Yay, one new move. At least I have that to write home about. I really, really wish I was closer on collecting them all. But we're, we're not doing it. There's just too many left. 
I would have to have, like, the most insane luck to get all the remaining customs that I haven't gotten already. And I just do not have it in me. And I'm sure that there's some bullshit in the game where they only give you a, a proper new custom, like, sometimes. Pokeball Pokemon, much like assist trophies, grow and shrink in number available in each game. Smash 4 has 40 Pokemon in total, with a whopping 23 of them being brand new to the series, Asters. While, yes, a lot of the Pokemon are new, a couple are actually replacements for older Pokemon. Snivy completely replaces Chikorita, because I am the only person in the world who likes the Chikorita line. Unfortunately, I like Snivy alone more than Chikorita's line. Servi and Superior are below that, though. Oshawa takes over Piplup's job using Surf. This is like having to choose my favorite child. Zoroark uses Greninja's final smash. This is lame as all hell for a Pokemon that can make illusions. Victini is special as well, using its ability, Victory Star. The only other Pokemon to use an ability in the series is Munchlax. Who was cut? 13 Pokemon were cut from Brawl. Chikorita and Piplup, as mentioned, were replaced. Celebi and Jirachi were cut due to redundancy, just giving rewards like Mew and being a rare Pokemon. Ho-Ho was moved to the Kalos Pokemon League stage. And the others... I don't really know why they were cut. Everyone else was pretty unique in their ability, so I can only assume it was complications on 3DS or with the more complex characters. Namely Munchlax and Gulpin, who directly removed models from view. Manaphy also may have been cut because Heart Swap, which already was a confusing effect, would be even worse in 8-player Smash. The rest I have no clue why, so that sucks. Smash 4 also introduced a new item in the Master Ball. Unlike the Pokeball, it has a more limited pool of possible Pokemon, most of which being legendaries. Despite this, two Pokemon that aren't legendary or mythical can be summoned. Goldeen, who really captures the essence of the dumb kid wasting their one Master Ball, I love this. And the other is Zoroark, who, and I'm sorry kids who grew up with the Zoroark movie and thought it was a mythical Pokemon, isn't a mythical Pokemon, nor that rare. It happened to me with Lucario, I have to break this news to you as well. Flattering pose for Charizard. Damn it, I was trying to go for two. This hitbox is not as good as I thought it was. But then again, you could say that about Charizard in general. Oh, I'm wrong. Charizard also doesn't have, like, a cartoony. Huh. Do any of the Pokemon have a cartoony? I might be completely wrong on that fact, then. I'll have to double-check myself on that. Oh, well. Alright, that does it for Charizard. Next episode, though, it's gonna be another 9.0 run. See you all then.